Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3270, where we have 27 moves to collect 24 licorice, 24 ticking time bombs, and 24 fish. So since we have to collect the fish, and the fish are really good at targeting ticking time bombs, let's work on figuring out how to get these. And as we do that, hopefully we'll be clearing out some of this licorice as well. Now, there are licorice dispensers, and the deal with licorice dispensers is that for every turn, if I take out licorice on a turn, no new licorice should form. But when I don't take out licorice, that's when new licorice can develop. So if you're having a struggle collecting enough licorice, you need to let the licorice lie. Don't hit it. And then if you're getting too much licorice, try to take out at least one licorice per turn, and that should help. So that's the theory. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this going in practice. Now, when I have a stripe that I hit on a, a bobber, it sends out one fish. But if I combine it and make two uh, stripes go, it hits and collects three fish, creates three fish. And then, of course, if I've got an even better uh, combo like a striped wrapped, I can send out even more fish, especially if, since a striped wrapped makes a swath of three by three, so it hits many bobbers. Um, so all licorice is collected. That means that I don't really want any licorice showing up, but I can't even get down to here. I'm not going to worry too much. Actually, let's do this. Let's let things slide through. Now I can take out a licorice, take out a licorice. I have ticking time bombs that are in a dangerous situation but I don't see a good way to pair this with a stripe. So I'm just gonna blow it up now and hope that the fish go to those low target numbers. There we go. Now I have 14 moves and I still have some ticking time bomb set at 13. So I either need to get these in 13 moves. Oh, and I have one at seven, yikes. So I have to get them at 13 moves or I have to just finish my collection. If I finish my collection, the game ends and I'm no longer in trouble. Here's a wrapped. I've got to get this going. Okay, fish. Good job. Nice. All right, so obviously it's the fish I'm having trouble collecting. Ooh, hello. How in the world can I make that work into something awesome? You know, I don't see a spectacular opportunity, so I'm just going to take out all blue from the board. It will concentrate the colors down, and by doing so, Sometimes it give me, gives me something spectacular, this time not so much. But I have another stripe here. Yikes. Uh, I've got three problem children here. Let's do this. Go fish, go. Oh, look at that. I can't strike the bobber with that. It's going to drop down too far. I can't explode that. So I think I lost this one unless we get some cascading. I got close, but I only had one move left anyway, and I don't think I was going to get five fish. But now I know what the struggle is. The struggle is to get the fish. I kind of started out with that knowledge, so it's not like I wasn't going for that. But it cements that idea, and let's just see what we can do to create better opportunities. So now instead of taking this stripe, I'm looking for a way to set it up with another special if I can. And if not, we'll just take what the board gives us. So making specials, making specials. Um, no good moves. Let's go ahead and take this. Gotta chip away at those Taking time bombs. This one's not going as well as the last one. Here we go. Now what? I can only reach orange. But I think that's what I need to do is take out all orange. That concentrates the colors. There we go. That gives me another color bomb. And here's where it pays off. Unless this crashes on me, I've now got a wrapped, wrapped combo. This is going to hit a lot of bobbers a lot of times and send out hordes of fish. Yay, with 10 moves left. I couldn't get it done in all of the moves the first time round, 
but this time with 10 moves left because I got a wrapped wrapped. And if you get a striped wrapped, probably you would see that same kind of uh, wonderful excitement at the end where everything just gets taken care of. All right, so that's how I beat it. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.